Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, we are doing a guerrilla op to counter vigilance, I think it was. Basically, Advent having extended detection radius. Which is one of the more annoying dark events to deal with. And our group is Lotharion, Kroza, Harrison, Alaric, Rajin and Clara. So that's Sharpshooter, Ranger, Mech Trooper, Samurai, Specialist and Infantry. And here we are. Yep, we got some custodians over there. And this is our actual objective. So access data point right here. Well, let's get moving. There was a Venator in here. Yeah, we got the Hunt and Phantom Incursion. We also got a Resistance Soldier right here. Might come in handy. All right, let's go then. We got some high ground, but I probably won't be staying up here for very long. Double yep, time. let's keep moving. Okay. Any enemies in range? Not yet, apparently. Oh, and we also got heavy bio-rocket trooper. That is going to be quite useful, because he has an actual rocket launcher. Very nice. It won't do a ton of damage, but it will destroy cover. I think we found the group. Yep, there it is. Berserker and Armored Berserker. Alright then. Yeah, Armored Berserkers can be quite dangerous because they have Ball Rush. Which means they will get an action when you hit them. Well, not just any action, but Ball Rush specifically. I think we found yet another group. Yeah, there it is. No, that's the same group. Okay, well, that's pretty much it then. Here. I'm all over it. We got like eight people in the squad. Our actual squad, then the resistance soldier, and the advent trooper. So that's eight people total, technically. Well, there they are. We should probably deal with them. Oh yeah, that's also a Spectre Prime. We can probably engage just the Berserkers without pulling the Spectre Prime. Let's see where the Spectre Prime is actually going to move. He won't move anywhere at all. Alright. Well, that's not a problem then. I think it would be best to try to punch a Berserker, but I need to move Harrison before I take a shot. Yeah, let's just try to stand in the middle or so. Yeah, I'll stand in the doorway. I need to be out of range and out of line of sight of the Spectre. Moving the designated coordinates. The idea is to pull just the Berserkers. So, yeah, Lotharion. Back here. Position confirmed. That guy cannot see the Spectre, but I'm going to move him regardless. Just to be safe. And Rajin is fine. Video feed, squad video feed. 100. Wait, what's that exactly? Oh, I know, that's extended range, or rather squad sight for everyone. No, that's just extended vision. Okay, yeah, I don't really need that all that much, and definitely not right now. Let's pull then, shall we? I think I'll just take a shot with Harrison. It's unlikely I'll get a chance to use the punch, and this way we can get a shred. Or we can take a shot with Krosa, he will also get a shred. However, we will get a better chance to crit when they are closer, in case of Krosa specifically. Just shoot them. Here. And now his armor is gone. We will kill the armored berserker first, because he's a bigger threat. There's self-defense protocol. Nice. Okay. Well, that was pretty good damage, and he missed. And we got another self-defense protocol. That was actually amazing. So standing in the doorway was definitely a good idea. Now we can actually kill them both. At least I think we can kill them both. We should be able to. Let's take a shot with Rajin. That might actually kill the Berserker. We can do 12 damage. Alright, let's go. And it's dead. Nice. That was the quickest double Berserker kill I've ever done. All thanks to Harrison. Or mostly thanks to Harrison, anyway. 
Well, that's that. And we know there's a Spectre Prime over there. Let's just Overwatch for now. I don't necessarily want to trigger it yet. On the next turn. This is fine. We can move a little bit closer, but not too close. Yeah, definitely not too close. This will do. And they might actually see us. Which wouldn't be the worst thing. My life is in your hands. Nope. Okay then. We can't conceal, so we'll just move in. Move this will probably reveal them. Yep. That shouldn't be a problem. It's only two enemies in that pod. And honestly, we can more or less ignore the Cryo Priest. I would definitely like to kill the Spectre, however. So, Rage Strike. There it is. Oh, hi. Venator. Well, alright then. Here's Bladestorm. Yep, that was pretty good damage. But now we got the Venator to deal with. He's on Overwatch. I do not have a Sonic in this group. So they can't use that ability. Yeah, I would like to finish off the Spectre, but now he's invisible. Let's shoot the Cryo Priest. I'm okay with that. Here, nice crit. Can we do anything about the Venator? Well, maybe. We might be able to. Possibly. I do have one flashbang grenade. I'm probably a little bit too far away to actually use it. Well, no, maybe I'm not. Let's just trigger that overwatch. With our shielded samurai. Even if it hits, that won't actually do anything. So let's see if we are in range or not. And this will also reveal the spectre. I could try to freeze the Venator because I did actually bring the... whatever it's called, the suit with the freeze. Yeah, I'm out of range of that guy. Still. I can flashbang. That might be worth doing. And then I could just teamwork, actually. And kill the Spectre. Not a terrible idea. Okay, let's flashbang the Venator. Because then it won't clone. And I can definitely hit it. With some people. I can hit it with at least two soldiers, easily. As in, with Harrison and with Rotarion, obviously. So let's hit it with Harrison first. Hopefully we'll shred. Okay, let's go. I'll try to not reveal anything else. I do also have Vest Inspire. Might be a good idea to use it. Who can we use it on from here? Oh, just on ourselves. I could use it for Lutherion, actually. Where's Lutherion? Right here. I don't really want to stand out of cover, but it shouldn't matter too much. Or we can play it safe and stay down here. We can also just not use Best Inspire yet. I know, crazy idea. Yeah, I'm just going to not use it yet. It's not like it's going anywhere and it has a pretty long cooldown. We don't actually need it right now. Here, so that's a shred. And we can still move, but I think I'll stay up here. Let's see if we can actually kill the Venator. That might be a little bit harder because it's quite far away. Oh, hold on. Clara can actually shoot it. I will be out of cover, but I can shoot it with Clara. Probably worth it because she has blue screen. What's our chance to hit? Yeah, 74%. Let's go for it. It's a guaranteed crit as long as we hit. Nope, we missed. Damn it. Well, that's disappointing. Who is she with again? Oh yeah, with Rajin. So how about we reload and then teamwork? Sounds reasonable. It's not like Rajin can do a whole lot from back here anyway. Let's take another shot. I just need one hit, come on. There it is. 19 damage, so it's almost dead. We need literally one damage. Lotharion can do that. 
I can't actually get high ground on it unless I use Icarus Jump. Will we have a line of sight to the priest? No. Actually, yeah, no, we won't. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I can't get line of sight to the priest, which is a bit disappointing. Okay, I'm going to use Icarus Jump anyway. Let's go. This will give us high ground on the Venator. So then I can still take a shot at the Spectre. Let's go. Down it goes. It will still explode, regardless of flashbang. Then we can use Lightning Hands, might as well. And then take a regular shot. The Spectre is also disoriented. But if we can kill it on this turn, we certainly will. Here, it's down to 7 health. Now, how about that Spectre Prime? Let's see, we still got a few options. I still got that rocket, right there. Okay, I only got the Rocket Trooper. And... The Resistance Soldier left. But the Spectre should basically kill himself on our Blade Storm. I just want to kill the Priest, if we can. Or just take a shot at anything at all. I don't even care what exactly is going to be. Yeah, 41% is not amazing. But let's take a shot at the priest. I'm saving the rocket for later. Nope. One last shot then. Here, that's going to be the last shot on our turn. Oh, 78 now. We destroyed the wall. Part of it anyway. Here we go, he will get sustained, but that's fine. No, we actually didn't do enough damage, really. Well then, alright. There's the Spectre. I really dislike that Vanish ability. Oh, apparently Bladestorm will not happen before Shadowbound. Don't hit my own dude with Bladestorm. Although, that doesn't count as our own dude. Can I use Bladestorm or something? Come on now. There it is, 12 damage. He is at one health, literally. And the Cryo Priest is also at one health. And then there's one more Spectre we can't see. What the heck? Oh yeah, we hit it, so it's getting another action. Fine. Oh, it's fine, Bradford. We don't know such thing. Can we go yet? I want that Priest. And I want him dead. Come on now. Any day now. And I need to see the Spectre. I know he's there. I have the objective in range. Yeah, there he is. We should be able to shoot him. Okay, let's kill the Spectre first, shall we? That sounds like a job for Lutherion. He should be able to kill both. Alright, shoot the Spectre first. Here, got it. And let's kill the priest with someone else. You know, someone who actually needs some experience. Like Cruiser. Doesn't matter too much who exactly is going to be. As long as he's not a colonel. Good enough. Goodbye. So, let's get off the low ground, shall we? And what's the hack? Oh yeah. We could actually hack that right now, because why not? It might actually be useful. Sure, why not, let's do that. We know there's a custodian group up ahead. So squad video feed, because that's guaranteed. We got 168 tech score, that is quite a lot. I think my other specialist has like 145? Something like that. Alright then. Let's do this. So let's move on. First, maybe let's reload everything. Affirmative. Moving out. We still got most of our tools. I don't think I Ready used anything rock. that's limited just yet. Locked and loaded. Nope. Alright, so Overwatch, just in case. We still got 10 turns. We got lots of time. There should be two more groups. And we know Overwatch. Custodians are one of them. 
Okay, let's not move forward too much just yet. Moving on target location. This will do. In cover. Okay, that will do. We know they are pretty close. They were right here, actually. We'll see them as soon as we move up the ramp. Most likely, yeah. I'm on it. Okay, let's just move towards the ramp. But not too close. Yeah, this might be a little bit tricky. Head down. Let's prepare to move up on the next turn. That sounds reasonable. Harrison doesn't need a ladder. On the move. Or really anything. Out there now. So we can go left or we can go right. And some people can jump because they are fancy. Moving out. Not just Harrison, but Watch also Lutherian. Okay, this is fine. Rolling One person to the ramp. Here you go. And Lutherian. Solid copy. So we will definitely see them on the next turn. As soon as we jump up. Here, that will do. Just I'm stay going. as close to the wall as possible. I assume there are two more groups, not just one. I mean, that's not counting the phantoms. Okay, well, let's move up then. This will definitely reveal them. Obviously. Yeah, let's just move up, might as well. Hello there! Yep. We got the phantoms, I think. Yes, we do. Okay, this will be fun. Let's see how exactly we are going to do this. Says I, am to obey. I don't have a grenadier, but I think I got a frost bomb on someone. And as always, I have the mimic beacons. So how exactly do we do this? I would actually consider using the blaster bomb. This would give us way better line of sight, and it will also do really good damage. I'm using it kind of semi-blindly, but that's fine. Yeah, let's just use the blaster bomb. Works for me. Go, go, Cruza. This should hit all three of them, and also the Master Ghost. Here. And that will give us much better line of sight. Way better. Now, can we use Shredstrom Cannon without destroying the objective? Probably not, because it has massive range. Yeah, look at this range, it's actually insane. I could still hit them kind of from the side. That would maybe work. Oh, I can almost punch them in the face. He is one tile too far away. Interesting. Okay, let's check all our options. Can we kill all three of them? Unfortunately, I'm a little bit too far away for Skull Mine. Which is disappointing. Okay, well, I definitely need to move up. It's probably best if we use at least one Mimic Beacon. And we can flare them up. Because they do have some defense, right? Yes, they do. So might as well use flare. Especially since we can hit all three of them with it. Now, who has the beacons? Clara has one beacon. And I think Cruza had the other one. No. Who had the other one? Alaric had the other one. And now would be a good moment to use Vest Inspire. As in, not literally now, but on this turn. What do we do with Harrison? I want to try using Shredstorm because it will do that much damage. We could try to use it from back here. That might work. I think it would work. And if we stand next to Master Hunter, he would probably die from the punch. Thing is, the Custodians have a melee ability that can do 20 damage. So as much as I like Bladestorm, or whatever the mech trooper equivalent is called, I still don't want to stand next to them. Because 20 damage is a little bit too much. Yeah, I can't hit all three of them, unfortunately. Well, that is disappointing. But it might still be worth hitting two of them. First, I will use Vest Inspire for someone. Do we run in with, like, Alaric, for example? Same problem as before, the melee ability. Alaric could tank one hit. Actually, no, he couldn't. 
20 damage would still kill him. Yeah. Okay, I definitely need the Mimic Beacon, so we'll use the Mimic Beacon with Clara. I think. Rajin does have some ammunition. Let's go up. Let's see if we can maybe stun one of them. It's fairly unlikely, statistically speaking. But it can happen. Let's try then. It might happen, you never know. It's a 20% chance to stun. Oh, we didn't even hit him to begin with. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, I noticed that you didn't get it. Alright, fine. Let's use the beacon. I definitely need that. And then we'll give them some more people as bait, sort of. Yeah, I'll keep them relatively close. I still want to kill at least one of them. Preferably more than one, because they also have an AoE rocket with like a huge radius. And speaking of rockets, this would be the perfect moment to use the bio rocket launcher. Yep, it doesn't get any better than that. I can't actually hit all three of them. No. What's the radius again? Five tiles. Wait, can I not hit all of them? No, I don't think I can. No, I can't. Okay, fine, just hit the two in the back. There it is. Now they are poisoned and they also have acid burn. How much more damage can we really do? Still got that vest inspire. I need to think who can make best use of that. Do we charge in or not? I think it would be safer to give Harry some teamwork, honestly, with Alaric, instead of charging in with Alaric. I would definitely prefer that. Now, technically, I can get some high ground, but I would rather not. I'd rather stay away from them. Still, I could kill some of the ghosts, because the problem with them is that they might waste my Mimic Beacon. But at the same time, I would prefer to not be flanked by the turret. That would be nice. I could just use high ground all the way back here. Which will lower our chance to hit, but it might be fine. Honestly, I think it's fine. Our chance to hit should still be decent regardless. So I'm just going to use high ground all the way back here. It's not that far away. Yeah, only half the map. Okay, yeah, 196. Please don't miss. There it is. Again, I need to kill them because they might waste my Mimic Beacon. Here, 86. Hopefully that will be a kill. I can always give him Inspire if not. Yep, one more. 74. A little bit lower, but I would also like to kill that guy. Nope, didn't get him this time. Well, in that case, I can't actually give him Vest Inspire because I'm too far away. But we can give him teamwork. Oh no, he's with Croza. I could give Croza Inspire and then use Advanced Teamwork with Croza. It's a bit of a roundabout way to do it, but I can. And then again, it's probably not worth it. No, I don't think it's worth it. I could kill that marksman with Alaric. And then I can still move. Because I got that ability. Can we kill even a single custodian though? That's the biggest question. I'm not sure if I can. I don't have that many soldiers left. Just Alaric and Harrison. That's literally it. So who do we give... Inspire. I'm really not sure about that. I don't think we need another Mimic Beacon. I could actually use Staggering Shot, maybe. Now, that's not a bad idea. Oh, I can't target Clara with it, damn it. Yep. Needs to be in line of sight. I could Haywire Protocol the turret. Okay, that could work. I could see that working. Together we are strong. 
Let's try that at least. Check our chance. Should be pretty good. 73%. I'll give it a shot. It might not work, but 73% is about as good as it will get. Instead of shutdown, that is. No, we didn't get it. Damn it! Come on! That's just not fair. So much for that inspire. Well, that's really annoying. And that's my last move now, basically. And not counting Alaric. I'm just going to take a shot at them. Because whatever. Which one has the least health? Yeah, this one. Alright, fine. Here, 9 damage. I can almost kill one. But not quite. I could kind of kill one with Alaric. Sort of. Well, no, I couldn't, actually. Alright, teamwork. And let's just take another shot. Go, go, go. I hate that we failed to control the turret. But oh well, whatever. It's fine. There. And that's it, basically. I can still move a little bit closer. Well, let's maybe keep Harrison in the front. I know their movement range is very, very limited. They can't move this much, but I want Harrison to be in the front. Here, that will do. Okay, Sectopod. And another group behind them with an Archon. Is that an Archon Prime? I can't see. I think that was a Prime. I didn't quite catch it, but I'm pretty sure that was a Prime. Okay, at least the objective will be pretty easy to get. Because all we have to do is hack it. And I basically blow up half this building. Nice shot, bro. Well, the beacon countered all three of them. Which is great. But we still need to do tons of damage. Now would be a good moment to use... Shredstorm. At least that's a regular sectopod and not a prime. But it's already shooting us. How many times are you going to shoot? What the heck? Can you just stop right now? Thank you very much. Yeah, there's the biomech. They are shooting the phantoms, which I'm okay with. What are you doing? Okay. Cruza is marked. How many are there? Way too many is the answer. And there's still that Archon Prime behind them. I'm pretty sure that was an Archon Prime. There was an Archon Prime on the enemy list, if I remember right. Can you guys just finish yet, or what? I would like to do something. Anything? There we go. Okay, that is quite a few enemies. So, how do we do this? 44 health on the Custodian Master. I might actually need... Skull mine on the Custodian Master. Problem is, this can fail, but this is the best way to do 44 damage. And then I will have to use teamwork. Okay, let's do it. I can't reload because then I will be out of range. Let's go. Please don't fail. I need this to not fail. You are not allowed to fail. That's an order. There we go. We got him. Okay, good. Won't get the intel, that's fine. The important part is that he's dead. So now I need to try doing it without a double blade storm. Oh, nice. Yeah, here's the problem. Double blade storm is the easiest way to handle these guys. But yeah. Another thing I can do is use the freeze because I did actually bring the sealed so might as well try that on the Archon Prime yep it missed slightly annoying but all right I will definitely need the beacon so we'll be going with that most likely which means I have to use it now 
Yep, I have to use it now. Let's just use that right away. The Archon Prime is actually going to be a bit of a problem. And we also got the Sectopod. We got a lot of enemies here. What about Harrison? Yeah, that's just the objective. Honestly, I could hack the objective and leave. Which is not such a terrible idea. However, I will use the Shredstorm Cannon. Here, we can hit four enemies with it. Let's do it then. There's no need to move, I don't think so. We are fine where we are. So that will give an Archon an action, but that's kind of hard to avoid when he's not frozen. Yep, he will kill the Rocket Trooper. Alright then. That's fine. That's pretty much what he was there for. We can kill the Custodian right away with Lotharion, so let's do that. Oh yeah! Sadly, I'm out of range to use Quick Draw. It's technically not granted because it's 93, but he's dead. Now, I would definitely like to kill the Sectopod, because the Sectopod can shoot things several times. In a sense, he's more dangerous than the Archon or the Custodian. I could flashbang the Archon and the Custodian, that is an option. Well, Clara has blue screen, so she will take two shots. I could also flare the Sectopod, I don't think that's actually necessary. We would be better off flaring the Custodian, actually. And the Archon. How about we do that then? Because I still want to at least shoot the Custodian. But then we'll shoot the Sectopod, I need that. I also kind of need to teamwork Rajin. Unless we want to just leave her here, which is probably a terrible idea. Yeah, let's shoot the Sectopod first. 15 damage. And I have to teamwork Rajin. I can't just leave her over there. As tempting as it is to take another shot. Let's move her somewhere safer. Like back into full cover. That sounds reasonable. Okay, and then we might as well pick up the load with our resistance soldier. Not very useful load, but whatever. Shoot the sectopod. The sectopod is the priority right now. I can destroy it. The main question is how many actions it's going to cost us. So now I have several options. Well, actually, I don't really have a lot of options. But I could teamwork Lotharion after the initial shot. That's what I did the previous time, so that's what I'm doing now. The idea is that we'll take one shot, and then teamwork, take another shot, and then the next shot will be dead from above. And it should also kill the rocket trooper. Because the sectopod will explode. So now teamwork, and now we'll kill the sectopod. There it is. Okay, and th then we can still take some shots. So this is the main problem. I can use Slash, which is not exactly safe, but this is the most guaranteed damage I can do. Or I can try to take a shot at them. But, Custodian or Archon? We have a better chance of killing the Archon, because the Archon has less health. And I got slightly better chance to hit the Archon. So while I will give him an extra action, I guess that's fine. I mean, it's not really fine, but I can't avoid it. Let's just shoot the Archon. There it is. Now we can kill him with Rotarion. He will get an action first, but whatever. Yeah, he's shooting our resistance soldier, that's fine. And now we can kill him. And then we can still take a shot at something. So that's the idea. Here, that is a granted kill right there. Goodbye. And then we can still shoot something. What would that be? I can't actually kill any of these. 
I'm going to shoot that turret, I think. Because I can actually ignore the armor on the turret. Or we can just shoot the custodian. Let's shoot the custodian, it's fine. There it is, 11 damage. And that's our turn. And now we got reinforcements incoming. I think I saw a mech. Wait, that's more custodians, really? Well, okay. That's not so good. I don't know how well I can deal with them. Maybe we should actually consider hacking the objective and leaving. Because I don't have a psionic. I don't have any more mimic beacons. I can't skull mine any of them. I can't do a whole lot to neutralize them. I have no crowd control left. So that's a definite problem. And we're not even done with the previous group. Oh hey, our resistance soldier survived. I don't even think I got any more explosives. I need to check. Not many. Yeah, this is a definite problem. It might be best to just hack the objective and evac. Let's see what we can actually do. I can punch the custodian. I'll probably have to just trigger that overwatch. Or we can shoot it with Clara. Where's Clara? Can she actually do it? Yeah, she can. Alright, I'm just going to shoot the turret because I have to do something. And it's unlikely I will be able to deal with everything, no matter what I do. So now that we got rid of the turret, I think I'm going to punch the custodian in the face. That seems to be the best way to do that much damage in one go. The other custodians will be a problem. But I guess we'll deal with that problem on the next turn. Let's just punch this guy. It's only 68% to punch him, that's kind of low. That is actually really low. I don't want to do that anymore. Screw it, let's shoot the mech, I don't want that to miss. There, that's a better use of our time. I just need to do a little bit of damage to the custodian with someone. Because right now Lotharion can't do enough damage to destroy it. We can however destroy the mech. But we need like at least two more damage to the custodian. Unless I want to risk not getting a free action. Ready to go. Yeah, I need someone to shoot it. Who would that be? I can just hit it with Alaric, I guess, because I don't want to move too close to the other guys. For obvious reasons. At the same time, I would prefer to stay in cover because they can still do quite a lot of damage. Only 45%. Let's shoot him with Rajin. Because he doesn't really have any better targets anyway. Oh yeah, now he's stunned. Okay then, that's interesting. We can try to kill the sharpshooter. Probably won't work, but you never know. Maybe it will. There it is. We can actually kill him. He's not dead yet, but we can kill him. With Rotharion, if nothing else. So let's do that. He won't bother us anymore. And then I could just shoot one of the other Castonians, because the guy in the front is frozen anyway. He is frozen, right? I mean, stunned, not frozen. Yeah, let's shoot one of the other guys, because we still have to kill them. That's well over 100 damage that I'll have to do. That's a lot of damage, and we didn't even hit. Yeah, fine, whatever. Do we move a bit closer? Oh, hold on, the boa is still over there. I almost forgot about the boa. Okay, then. Let's try to kill it. There it is, done. And that's a promotion for Cruza, nice. I'm going to Overwatch. That's basically it. We still got a move. Screw it, let's kill the Custodian, because I can still move after the kill. I got the ability that gives me a move after we get a kill. 
so now we can move back into cover. I would prefer to spread out a little bit, because they still got an AoE that we can use. Here. That's better. As for our resistance soldier, yeah, there's no need to get her killed just yet. Let's just move. Actually, let's just move out of their view completely. And like I said, I will try to spread out. But at the same time, I don't want to stand too close to them. This should be reasonably fine. That's a lot of health. Yeah, that's over 100 damage that we'll have to do. That's slightly worrying. And we might want to hack the objective. That sounds like a good idea to me. And we missed again. I was hoping for a shred. At least their actual main weapon doesn't do too much damage. Alright. Can we kill at least two of them right now on this turn? Good question, I don't know. We can try a freeze. If we are going to do that, it would be best to increase our chance to hit first. With holo targeting at least. Take a shot from here. I can also use teamwork. I need to think about this turn. I really don't want to let them punch anyone. Reload. Let's actually take a shot with Rajin. Because one, she actually has holo targeting because I picked that up. Two, she has bonus chance to hit. And three, she has a chance to stun one of them. Let's try. Excellent damage. No stun, but now we can use Frostbite on him. That's 52% chance. There it is, he's frozen, nice. Okay. Now, can we kill the guy in the front? I can use Stagger on them, which would actually be very useful. Can we shred him? I guess that would be Cruza's job. I need to move away slightly. It will lower our chance to hit and crit, but I don't want to stand too close to them. This will be better. So that will give us follow targeting on the other guy. And we also hit, nice one. Okay. I think we got this, at least the guy in the front. Go, go, go! Yeah, we can kill one of them. We got enough damage. Yeah, we definitely got enough damage. And I think Lutherian can finish the job already. Yes, he can. There it is, that's one kill. Now, we still got the added Kostrilian Master in the back. But oh well. We'll deal with him too. I can actually target him. Tempting. Now let's shoot the guy in the front. I don't want to miss. And then... Harrison could try to shoot the Castellan Master, because Shred. That would actually be useful. There it is. Shredded him. Nice one. I think we mostly got this. But let's be careful. We still got this person right here. Might as well take a shot. She might actually survive this mission, which would be quite impressive. Especially by my standards. This would almost be a kill, but not quite. Okay, that will do. This is fine. Looks like we mostly got this. Even though we still need to do like 50 damage. Alright, let's finish this. So first... Reload. Yeah, let's shoot that guy. Best chance to hit and holo targeting. Missed, but now we got holo targeting on him. Okay, Clara will have to reload. Well, that's fine. There it is, 8 damage. I can still use Shadowfall. 
because reasons. Yeah, it won't really do a lot of damage. Not worth it. We should be able to kill both of them. Maybe, maybe not. Lotharion can kill this one. He has armor, but I got AP rounds. Which means armor will not help him. Down he goes. Yep, we got this. Let's use Void Strike. Haven't had the chance to use it. It's a pretty nice ability. Look at that damage. And we can punch him in the face, but... That will have pretty low chance to hit. And I really don't want to miss. We can however stand next to him in case we fail to kill him. Then we'll get close combat protocol or whatever. But I'm using my main weapon. Because that's 100. And a punch is not 100. This should kill him. Yeah, that's a katana, which means I cannot miss. And that's that. Now we can hack the objective and get the heck out of here. So let's just wait for the next turn. Yes, we know Bradford. We secured it. You might want to call it like it is. Where's Rajin? Right here. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. That was a pretty annoying mission. Reduce contact cost. Yeah, delaying dark events won't really do a whole lot. There, we actually got it. Nice. That will still be useful. Sort of. I mean, not entirely, but we still got some facilities. Which we probably won't have to raid. But if we'll have to, then this will help. So, Lotharian was the MVP, but as friggin' usual. Close range! Harrison got the sneakiest, really? I don't think he was the sneakiest. I'm just saying. He certainly doesn't look like the sneakiest person in our squad. So, we got a promotion for Groza, that's going to be Rapid Fire and Reaper. I will take both. It will cost us some points, but that's okay. I will definitely take both. Some loot. And supplies, and more importantly, we countered Vigilance. Okay then, we are almost done here. What can we do? Lot. Might as well finish that, I guess. I don't really have anything better to do, to be honest. What are we waiting for right now? For the Avatar Autopsy. New facility. That's the third one, I think. I don't think we'll have to raid any facilities, but... I don't know. I can always do it. It's not really hard. For you, There's the supply drop. It is I got 500 it's intel. There's no need to reveal this, because this is what I'll be countering anyway. No need to switch anything here. There's the supply drop. Yeah, don't go there just yet. And we removed negative traits. Advanced repeater. Yeah, I will not be using that. Five days to finish the avatar autopsy. We'll probably still get a mission or two, as in regular missions. And how's the covert action? Almost done. That was a promotion, I think. For someone. Yeah, yeah, more avatar. Oh, actually, no. We reduced avatar project progress. That was the covert action. And we gained hack skill. Okay. Let's check them out really quick. They didn't get the promotion, did they? We know Bradford, calm down, you always say this. Word is, we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Maybe we should give them a try. Hey, wait, hold on, what? Can we recruit someone? No, not really. Well, what can we do in here that would actually still be useful for our campaign? Oh, Fabricate PCS, and it's a promotion. Okay, well, that's a no-brainer, definitely. These are two things that I need. That's what we'll be going for. So, who should we actually promote? We could promote Michael. I would like to promote one of the mechs. 
But I was waiting for them to get captain. They still didn't get captain, which is kind of crazy. I could still use a promotion for them, but I don't know. I think I'd rather get some other people promoted. Like Grumpy, because he's with Kid. And who's with Rosa again? Anna is with Rosa. Yeah, and Anna is still just a captain. Let's send Anna, that's fine. And then I could send, like, Hardison, because he will get some experience from this. Let's at least try. This is fine. And back to the bridge. We really don't have much time left. Supply raid. I think I might actually skip that. Oh, it's the annoying version. Yeah, that would be like a super long mission, an hour easily. I think I'm actually going to ignore that. I don't really need supplies. There's no need to do an hour plus long mission right now. Just no. Screw that, I'm not doing that. Let's just go and heal faster or something. Is that really the only thing I can do? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, fine. I'm not doing that. It's just a waste of time at this stage. And it's the worst version of the supply raid, so no. I would consider a regular supply raid, but that version, no. Here's the Avatar project. Okay then, so I think we are done with everything now. I did install the upgrade. So we can do the thing, right? Yes, we can do the network tower. I think it's time to finish this campaign. What do we have here? No squad upgrade. Begin with squad concealment, squad aim increased, squad dodge, squad vision. Yeah, that's a pretty hard version of it. Viper Prime, Codex Spectre, Archon Prime, Heavy Mech. Well, I could still wait. But there's nothing to really wait for, to be honest. I think we'll be finishing the campaign. However, that's the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. With him, though. I can actually target him. Tempting. No, let's shoot the guy in the front. I don't want to miss. And then... Harrison could try to shoot the Custodian Master, because Shred. That would actually be useful. There it is. Shredded him. Nice one. I think we mostly got this. But let's be careful. Still got this person right here. Might as well take a shot. She might actually survive this mission, which would be quite impressive. Especially by my standards. This would almost be a kill, but not quite. Okay, that will do. This is fine. Looks like we mostly got this. Even though we still need to do like 50 damage. Alright, let's finish this. So first... Reload. Yeah, let's shoot that guy. Best chance to hit and holo targeting. Missed, but now we got holo targeting on him. Okay, Clara will have to reload. Well, that's fine. There it is, 8 damage. I can still use Shadowfall. Because reasons. Yeah, it won't really do a lot of damage. Not worth it. We should be able to kill both of them. Maybe, maybe not. Lotharion can kill this one. He has armor, but I got AP rounds. Which means armor will not help him. Down he goes. Yep, we got this. Let's use Void Strike. Haven't had the chance to use it. It's a pretty nice ability. Look at that damage. And we can punch him in the face, but... That will have pretty low chance to hit. 
and I really don't want to miss. We can however stand next to him in case we fail to kill him. Then we'll get close combat protocol or whatever. But I'm using my main weapon, because that's 100. And a punch is not 100. This should kill him. Yeah, that's a katana, which means I cannot miss. And that's that. Now we can hack the objective and get the heck out of here. So let's just wait for the next turn. Yes, we know Bradford. We secured it. You might want to call it like it is. Where's Rajin? Right here. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. That was a pretty annoying mission. Reduce contact cost? Yeah, delaying dark events won't really do a whole lot. There, we actually got it. Nice. That will still be useful. Sort of. I mean, not entirely, but we still got some facilities. Which we probably won't have to raid. But if we'll have to, then this will help. So, Lotharian was the MVP, but as friggin' usual. Close range! Harrison got the sneakiest, really? I don't think he was the sneakiest. I'm just saying. He certainly doesn't look like the sneakiest person in our squad. So, we got a promotion for Groza, that's going to be Rapid Fire and Reaper. I will take both. It will cost us some points, but that's okay. I will definitely take both. Some loot. And supplies, and more importantly, we countered Vigilance. Okay then, we are almost done here. What can we do? Lot. Might as well finish that, I guess. I don't really have anything better to do, to be honest. What are we waiting for right now? For the Avatar Autopsy. New facility. That's the third one, I think. I don't think we'll have to raid any facilities, but... I don't know. I can always do it. It's not really hard. There's the supply drop. I got 500 intel. There's no need to reveal this, because this is what I'll be countering anyway. No need to switch anything here. There's the supply drop. Don't go there just yet. And we removed negative traits. Advanced repeater. Yeah, I will not be using that. Five days to finish the avatar autopsy. We'll probably still get a mission or two, as in regular missions. And how's the covert action? Almost done. That was a promotion, I think. For someone. Yeah, yeah, more avatar. Oh, actually, no. We reduced avatar project progress. That was the covert action. And we gained hack skill. Okay. Let's check them out really quick. They didn't get the promotion, did they? We know Bradford, calm down, you always say this. Word is, we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Maybe we should give them a try. Hey, wait, hold on, what? Can we recruit someone? No, not really. Well, what can we do in here that would actually still be useful for our campaign? Oh, Fabricate PCS, and it's a promotion. Okay, well, that's a no-brainer, definitely. These are two things that I need. That's what we'll be going for. So, who should we actually promote? We could promote Michael. I would like to promote one of the mechs, but I was waiting for them to get captain. They still didn't get captain, which is kind of crazy. I could still use a promotion for them, but I don't know. I think I'd rather get some other people promoted. Like Grumpy, because he's with Kid. And who's with Rosa again? Anna is with Rosa. Yeah, and Anna is still just a captain. Let's send Anna, that's fine. And then I could send, like, Hardison, because he will get some experience from this. Let's at least try. This is fine. And back to the bridge. We really don't have much time left. Supply raid. 
I think I might actually skip that. Oh, is the annoying version. Yeah, that would be like a super long mission, an hour easily. I think I'm actually going to ignore that. I don't really need supplies. There's no need to do an hour plus long mission right now. Just no. Screw that, I'm not doing that. Let's just go and heal faster or something. Is that really the only thing I can do? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, fine, I'm not doing that. It's just a waste of time at this stage. And it's the worst version of the supply raid, so no. I would consider a regular supply raid, but that version, no. Here's the Avatar project. Okay then, so I think we are done with everything now. I did install the upgrade. So we can do the thing, right? Yes, we can do the network tower. I think it's time to finish this campaign. What do we have here? No squad upgrade. Begin with squad concealment, squad aim increased, squad dodge, squad vision. Yeah, that's a pretty hard version of it. Viper Prime, Codex Spectre, Archon Prime, Heavy Mech. Well, I could still wait. But there's nothing to really wait for, to be honest. I think we'll be finishing the campaign. However, that's the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.